Hello? Can anyone see me? <laughs> I can't see me. Oh my god, there I am on Hello. the screen. Um, hey guys, how's everyone doing? I've never used this before, so I'm still trying to figure it out. So I'm just going to read a few of these. Hi, I love you. Fuck. Okay, I don't know what to say back to those ones. <laughs> if you have any questions, um, let me know. I'm so happy that you guys are tuning in to my video premiere. I've been super excited to share this video for a while now. Um, how am I? Good question. I'm really good. I'm just having a little wine. It's Thursday night. Things are happening. <laughs> uh, how are you guys? How's everyone doing out there? I feel like this is a, a phone call where I'm the only person on the call. It's a bit awkward. <laughs> My favorite song on Petrol Bloom. Um, I, it's a really difficult one. It changes kind of daily and weekly. Um, Wow, that one made a noise. Sorry, I don't know why that happened. Um, my favorite song is probably this one, Losing My Appetite. Well, no, Appetite's just called, I changed the name. And maybe Scream Joe Faster. But then I love Best Day Ever Had. I can't really choose, they're all my babies. <laughs> um, how do I feel now that EP is out? Really good. It's kind of overwhelming because I've been building up to this for a really long time. So... It just feels weird that it's it's released and everybody's got it or like got access to it on Spotify and you know iTunes and everything and YouTube here. Um, but I'm I'm stoked. It's nice to finally share what I'm doing with the world. And where am I right now? I'm in my house. You can see it. Look, this is my new Christmas tree. Um, Thirty five pounds bargain. For London Christmas tree. Uh, it doesn't smell though. I don't know why the Christmas tree doesn't smell if anyone has any tips. Uh, but yeah, this is my new house. So this is my living room. It's just me partying on my own. Oh wow, now there's a lot more questions since I stopped on that one. Sorry, I'm quite slow. I'm seeing you. Please collaborate with Billy Martin. I love Billy. She's an absolute genius. So hold that thought. We may be able to figure that out at some point. When am I getting married? Well, what a killer question. I'm probably not anytime soon, but I'll get back to you on that one if you're planning a, pr a proposal. <laughs> if you could pick a book to represent this EP, which one would it be? Um... I don't know. I just read Breakfast at Tiffany's, which I love, by Truman Capote. Um, I read Catcher in the Rye recently, which I also think is incredible and has had a big effect on me. And even the way I speak, which is a bit embarrassing. Um, what else is there here? Today's my sister's birthday. What's your sister's name? Of course I will shout out, but I don't know what her name is. Um, happy birthday to your sister. Uh, how old am I? I'm 26. I turned 26 this year. And what else have we got? Whoa, they keep coming in too fast. What is my favorite food? I love food questions. My favorite food is uh, sticky toffee pudding. I really love kind of very like English food actually, like roast dinner. Jack of potatoes. I could get stuck on this question for a while, so be careful. <laughs> am I going to release this EP on vinyl? I've seen this question a lot. I am planning to. That is my plan. Uh, I haven't figured out that plan yet, but I'm, I'm hoping to, yes. What is the mood vibes of Appetite? So Appetite is this song which is kind of about having a fight with yourself. Um, but it's also about having a fight with a partner at the same time. And it kind of toys with this feeling of beating yourself up because you keep being hard on yourself and, a bit, you know, about mental health um, as well. There's a lot of that in the song. Um, and then there's just the classic love side of it too, where you're having a fight with somebody and 
you know, you lose your appetite because you're so upset about the about the fight, but you can't stop fighting. Can we do a video next time you you're in LA? I mean, sure. I don't know when I'll be there again, but sounds great. <laughs> Am I ever coming to Latin America? Yes, please. I've never been and I would absolutely love to. So let's try and figure that out. <laughs> um, are you going to release another Mutterings of a Laurel? Yes, I am. I'm planning to. I'm writing it right now. There's just a lot going on. I'm struggling to, to finish it, really. Come to Austin, Texas when this pandemic is over. I'll be there too. I'll start curating this world tour tomorrow. What have I been listening to lately? Um, Ali X. I really, really love her. I've been listening to her a lot. Caroline Polajek. Um, I love Haim as well. What else have I been listening to? Just so much stuff. It's one of those questions that you feel put on the spot when you have to answer. Who's my dream collab? Well, I love Tyler the Creator so much and I would be so stoked to collab with him on something one day. Pizza or hamburgers? I don't really like pizza. I know, controversial. So I'm going to say hamburgers. Um, where? Drop my skin routine. Wow, guys, you're covering all bases. Um... What is my skin routine? I just cleanse my face every day, use some good moisturizers. It's really about what you eat though. I've noticed that I, I'm juicing and that makes my skin better. If I eat well, I have good skin. So look more inwards than things you can put on your face. That's what I've learned. What inspired the fashion for and such for the album? I guess it's just all around me, all the things I've seen and and people are looking so great this year. Um, I, I don't know, I just, it kind of came to fruition, just like the music, I guess. You pick up all these influences without even realizing. My favorite quote, okay, so the, the quote that, it's very cheesy, but I grew up reading this quote and saying this quote to myself all the time, especially as I, I was wanting to be a singer and I came from sm such a small town, I had to keep reminding myself when people would put my dreams down or tell me I couldn't do it. And my, dr my quote was, dream your dreams a size too big so you can grow into them. And I, I think I've lived by that my whole life, which is funny. Saying it back now, it does sound really cheesy and I have got some better quotes now, but that's probably been the most influential. <laughs> I don't know any words in Portuguese, no, I'd like to, so, you know, say some and maybe I'll try and repeat them or, or maybe I won't. <laughs> um, I'm so glad you like my Park EP vinyl. I haven't listened to that stuff in so long, maybe I should have a listen again. Um, what is my favourite colour? Oh, I just, I'm not very smooth. Uh, my favorite color, change daily. Right now it's lime green, which is, I think, quite obvious from the cover and pink. So, yeah. Am I going to release this, the EP in CD format? I'm actually not sure. I, I, I don't know that. I'd have to ask somebody else. <laughs> I don't have a CD player, so... Maybe? Sorry, bad answer. Have you looked at your Spotify wrapped? Yes. Kelsey Lou is my top song of the year, and I can't remember any of the others, apart from that my biggest genre that I listened to was Bossa Nova, which is kind of hilarious. Um, will, would I ca collaborate with Will Joseph Cook? I've seen this message come up like three or four times. Yeah, I think he's incredible. So you want to hook that up for us and we'll do it. <laughs> will I tour in Canada? Yes, please. I'm dying to come back to Canada. I love Canada. I've only been once, but I had such a great time. And I played some amazing shows in Canada too. Who's my favorite songwriter? You know, I'd have to say... 
Graham Sparks because we collaborated on this record together and he is a phenomenal songwriter. When did you write the lyrics for Appetite? I wrote them in New York in September last year. It was one of the first days I got there and the song just kind of came at me out of nowhere. Um, it was really good actually because all the lyrics kind of flowed out quite naturally rather than me having to sit and work them out, which feels so much nicer than when you spend days trying to figure out the lyrics. Another Billy collab, as I said, down. Uh, Copenhagen, yeah, I want to come to all these places. I miss traveling so much. Um, please come to Brazil. What is Elliot doing now? Elliot's not here. I'm sorry, it's just me. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> um, can I speak a word in Finnish? No, I can't, but one of my really good friends is Finnish, so I'll get him to teach me some, and next time we have a premiere, I will be on it, I promise. Do you sing under the shower? Never, which is quite interesting, but I I never sing in the shower. I think it's because I'm always singing. It's like my job to sing, so I think I just get a bit, I don't know, over it sometimes in the morning. I'm just a bit asleep. Favourite Talking Heads song, uh, This Must Be The Place, which I did a cover of. Um, I love that song, it's actually my favourite song in general. Um, what else is there going on here? Come to Latin America, yep. Who are my favourite singers? Florence and the Machine, uh, Maggie Rogers, who else? Laura Marling, there's so many. Caroline Polachek collab would be phenomenal. I totally agree with you. Another one to get on. TikTok with dancing and wine. Well, after you see this video, we might be doing TikTok dancing and wine a bit sooner than you think. So let me know. Um, and I think this is just about to come to a close. I'm sorry, there's so many questions that I haven't been able to answer. Maybe we can do this again sometime. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so stoked and hell yeah. Uh, enjoy the video. Lots of love. Hope you have a great, is it the weekend? No, the weekend starts tomorrow. But goodbye. Love you loads.